Hi everyone! If you've watched even more than a handful of my videos, you know that my all-time favorite nail polish brand is Zoya. And I get a lot of questions about which ones I would recommend and if I can show my collection to you because unfortunately it's not readily available in stores where you can see it in person. Obviously the best selection is on their website, Zoya.com, and they do go into great detail describing the finish, whether it's cream, metallic, glitter, and so forth, and the opacity, and warm tone, cold tone. It is the most descriptive website about a nail polish that I've ever seen. And Ulta generally carries their newest collections, as well as maybe a dozen or so of their um, permanent collection. Although, from what I can tell, once it's released, it's permanent. It doesn't go away which I really, really appreciate. I have yet to see really a limited edition um, release from Zoya. But for most of us, we can't see the full range in person. So I try to narrow down my collection. I have over 50 Zoya nail polishes, probably 52, 53. I've given away even more, probably. Um, if you don't know already, just to be very clear, I... Um, do get sent for free the every season um, the latest collection from Zoya, the entire range. And that's sent to me for review and I can say good or bad or whatever and I have yet to say bad so that's been great. But on top of that, I keep buying more on my own anyway. So whether it's in the store or oftentimes I'll do promotions and so I've definitely supplemented what they have sent me. And I do have a wish list going as well. So anyway, I narrowed it down to a little more than 20. And I also ordered, in addition to the bottles that I have to show you, I didn't do swatches on my fingers, um, but I did order spoons to show you yet another example of what the color looks like. So I tried to be as thorough as possible. And I will run through these as quickly as I can because it's just holding up bottles of nail polish. So this is just to satisfy your curiosity and help you if you're interested in ordering any of these nail polishes. I will list every single one I mentioned below and the link so you can just click on it and go buy it if you want or get a wish list going. Um, they are constantly offering deals on free shipping or buy one get one free and stuff like that. So I would definitely wait until they have a sale if, if you're concerned about the price. Um, the price are $8 a bottle, so they're right in line with some of the other slightly higher end um, nail polishes that you can find. And honestly, actually, these days many drugstore polishes are going up in price. So I love Zoya also because, um, not because they send me stuff for free, that's nice, but if you've watched previous videos of mine, that doesn't mean you're going to get a good review. Um, but I like it because they work. I put them on, they generally don't chip for very long. I can get about a week's worth of wear out of these. They go on very smoothly. They're very user friendly. The color range is outstanding and they are free of the big five bad chemicals that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. So I arranged these in color from neutrals and so forth all the way to the brighter color. So let's go. Um, Everyone needs a gold nail polish, I think, and um, this one is my favorite of those, and it's called Ziv. I have to say, every Zoya nail polish is named for a woman. I might not not necessarily have met anybody named Ziv, but apparently that is somebody's name. So it is a gold tone, and it has um, a gold base, and it also has gold shimmer in it. And here is the color spoon next to it. And I will say you can always order, if, if in doubt, order the color spoon. And if you go ahead and then order the color, the real bottle, they'll credit your account the cost of the spoon. So just a thing. I'm also really just crap at description, so I will do my best. But like I said before, if you want a really, really good description of any of these colors, go on the website. The next one I have, oh, and by the way, just an FYI, I have Ziv on my toes right now. I find it, it's like an old gold. It's a warm gold. It's very wearable. So there you go. Everyone needs to have this color. Everyone. There are just a few of these I'm going to say, no matter what you like to wear, that needs to be in your collection. And I think everyone also needs a silver. And this one is Trixie. And this is great by itself. It's great layering. It's great for nail art. I love it. It is a, again, like a silver foil base with slight silver glitter particles in there, but not 
like bright oh my god she's got glitter on her nails it's it's so wearable you can get away with this i think at a not a conservative office but slightly less conservative everyone needs a gray i think um again it's a neutral that i feel is a little bit edgy but not screaming look at me i'm wearing something weird on my fingernails and my favorite gray is the zoya dove it is a cool tone it to me reminds me of like wet cement and um, it's a cream. I do prefer the creams. And here is Dove in the color spoon. It almost has a blue tint in this light. It, it can go bluey, bluey, but it's a very neutral color. I've mentioned this one so much, I'm hesitant to mention again, but I love manicure hands and I like um, nudes. And this one by far is my standout from Zoya. It's in my top five. And it's from their latest, their spring collection and it's Jacqueline and I yeah I do have the spoon for Jacqueline and it's a bone white like a winter white it's a warm off white I would say and here she is in the spoon so it's not quite skin toned but it's definitely in that family and again a cream very opaque all of these in two coats unless I say differently are very opaque they do make less opaque ones I just generally don't like those so you're not gonna see them um, <clears throat> My second favorite nude has gotten a lot of abuse. I've traveled with this thing. Other nail polishes have leaked on it, but and I don't have a spoon for it. But this is Shea. And Shea is more of a warmer nude. It's pulling pink on my viewfinder. But um, there's a bit of shimmer. Very, very subtle shimmer. And I think that's really important when you're wearing a true nude. I think if you wear a straight cream, no shimmer nude, sometimes it just makes you look like you're dead which is not a good look, unless that's the look you want. Um, every time I wear this nail polish, I get compliments, and it's funny, every time I'm with my friend Katie, she almost always has this on her fingers. I'm always like, wow, that is gorgeous. What color is that? And she goes, you have it. I'm like, oh yeah. Um, this is Kennedy, and Kennedy is, again, a pinkier, I'll compare it to Shay. She is, and I say she because they're all girls, right? She's much pinker. Then Shea. This is Kennedy. And um, just very wearable. Um, Katie's much more conservative than I am, and she just loves this. And this looks really, she has red hair, and this looks really good with her coloring. And here, oh, here's the spoon for Kennedy. Moving on to my most worn shade, even though it's fairly recent acquisition and I don't have the spoon but I've worn it in a lot of videos and this again has got other nail polish cooked onto it but this is Pasha and Pasha is like a warm darker nude deeper nude and really more of a it has you can see the shimmer in it right there there you go and um, this is the color when you don't know what to wear and you want to look elegant put this on um, I have um, a few events coming up next weekend, and I will more than likely be wearing this the whole weekend. Now into the darker colors. I have to say I'm not a brights girl, so if you're looking for brights, they make brights, and I have a wish list going because I want to branch out. They have some fluorescent colors I've seen that I am interested to try for summer, but it's February. I'm just not there yet. I still love my dark colors. So, um, in no particular order of favorites. This is um, not deep, deep dark, but this is a purple tone, and it does have, if I get it really close, you can see the gold shimmer in it. There we go. Isn't she pretty? This is Lotus. And Lotus is purple. If you layer them up, for sure, two coats, if you wanted to put three, they get much darker, um, if that's the look you're going for, but there's a purple for you. This color, I hate to compare to other brands, but this one reminds me of, is it You Don't Know Jacques? There's another one that everybody wears. I don't know. This is one of those greasy purple, taupey colors. This is Petra. Again, if you need to have one in your collection, Petra's one to add to it. And do I have a spoon for her? I do. This is layered on. It's quite dark and um, purple tone undertone but a neutral I'd say very neutral and I just I love it it's very elegant great for this time of year and from 
fall on, I would say it's a great color. If you like blues and you're a little afraid to wear a bright blue, um, this one is perfect. I wear this one a lot. It's like a slate blue, and this is Natty, I believe. Yes, it is. That's Natty. And, um, you know, in the bottle, it pulls pretty blue, but when you start layering it on, it, it's a little deeper and isn't so obvious. It just seems like you're wearing a dark color on your fingernails. Now, everyone needs a basic black, I think. If you're into nail art, it's great for layering or for doing your little art thingies. I don't do nail art. It's just not my thing. But I sometimes like just a jet black, especially, and it's sound crazy, on my toenails. And they make the blackest black I have ever seen. And it's called Raven. And apparently this is supposed to be a dead-on dupe for a Chanel one that is also, well, it's black, and I don't remember what the name of it is, but I, it's a deep, glossy, shiny, inky jet black. And just like mascara, I feel like you can never have a black enough nail polish, and that one nailed it for me. Now on to just a basic plum. This one's been, I wouldn't say it's a plum. Plummy Cranberry. This color's been really big this season, and I wore it a lot in the fall. And this is Tony. And there, Tony's a cream. And um, just a really wearable, darker fall color. Really like that one. It's a little warmer. Everyone needs green, too. Um, and two that I really enjoy. Now, these next two sound a lot alike in name. This is Evie. Evie is a gray green, and I love it. This is one of the ones I've worn more than any of the others. And Evie is a, like I said, it's a gray green. So again, it's not so in your face as to wear like a jade color, but very wearable. Now, this one reminds me of, there was one in, the, in an OPI collection like Aragon, something with, I don't know, but it's a dark, dark green. And this one is called Envy. That should be easy to remember, it's green. And when you put it on, it looks almost black, but it has the green undertone to it. And I just, I love it. I like it when I know that it's a color, but at first glance it just looks like a dark, vague color and you don't know what it is. And some of these darker colors do run that way. Now we're going to get on to colors that are just pretty and happy. Um, I'm a sucker for a duochrome. I don't know why, but maybe I'm at a lot of boring meetings and I need, need to entertain myself, so I will look at my nails when I have a duochrome polish on and just, you know, angle them and look at them in the light and entertain myself. And this is one of my favorites, and this is Adina. And Adina has purples and grays and blues and silvers and all kinds of pretty funky colors. And I don't know if there's any glitter in here. Nope. Just fun colors. And she is definitely a duochrome. And there she is, depending on the light. You will see. Sometimes it just pulls straight silver. If I go back here. Anyway, Adina is a fun one. You will notice an absence of glitters. I like glitters okay on my toes, but as a general rule, I just think I'm too old to wear glitter on my fingernails at this point. But one that I wear over and over and over and over is Doll. It's D-A-U-L. And it's um, kind of like a pinky purple base with all kinds of gold glitter in there. And it's just cool. I mean, that's just that's all I can say. It's just a pretty cool color, and it almost has sort of a duochrome finish to it. I like it. Now on to a pure lilac-y purple. This was in my January favorites. I was very surprised. This is part of a collection they sent to me and I tried on just to say that I wore it, you know, to give it a go and see how I liked it. And I really liked it and I didn't think I would. This is Julie and Julie is just a pure pale blue lavender um, with some tiny, tiny shimmer in it but not um, full on glitter. And just a very surprisingly wearable color. Very um, not in your face and obnoxious and just almost a neutral. It was just so wearable. This next one I don't have a spoon for, but every time somebody asks me for a red recommendation, I'm not. this is not a true red, but I always recommend this one, and it's the Zoya Vanessa. And this one's seen some wear. I don't have a spoon for Vanessa. It's a deeper darker red. It's not your straight, true blue-red, um, but it is more in that blue-red family. And um, I wear this a lot, especially during the holidays. And then more of a brighter, truer color to red that is actually, it's, I, I think it's a fun one. This one is Stella. I'll put them next to each other so you can see the difference. Stella, Vanessa. 
And Stella's more of an orange red. And what's really fun is that there is a slight shimmer to it. I haven't shaken up the bottle, so you can see the shimmer. And um, it's really not evident when you wear it, but it gives the nail just a little more dimension to it. See, there it is on the spoon. You can't even see the shimmer. But it's just not a flat red, and it's very, very flattering. Now, I um, am looking a little ahead to warmer months, and there's just a handful more that I think are going to be a lot of fun in the spring, summertime. And here they go. I think everyone needs a bright pink. You want a bright pink that's girly, but not too young. And this one just totally nails it. This is Lara. And Lara is pink, but cream. I think the, the avoidance of glitter and shimmer in a bright pink is um, advantageous if you're over the age of, say, 25, 30. Um, anybody can wear this. I'm not saying that you have to be over a certain age to wear this color, but this is just a flattering color for just about any age group. And Lara looks like this. And um, very wearable. Great, great summer color. And then you need a bubblegum pink. And this one is not my signature color, but, it, okay, was that a bad attempt at a southern accent or what? But this is Shelby, and this was Shelby's signature color from Steel Magnolias. Um, and there she is, and it's a beautiful cream pink, and um, if you want to feel like a southern belle, slap that on your fingernails. And then this one is new to the spring collection, and I've tried it on. I haven't worn it out yet because I feel like it's too early in the season to, to wear, but I think this one is my all-time favorite mint color. Mint has been big for a few years now, and I don't think it's going anywhere, and this one is Neely. And this is a beautiful mint green, and I do have a spoon for Neely. And um, maybe I like this, especially because I actually know someone named Neely, but um, I just think it's a little more wearable than some of the other ones. It's a little creamier in color. It's not quite as bright. And um, I'm really looking forward to finally wearing this probably in a couple of months. And then my latest one that I just purchased and, again, bought thinking ahead to June, July, August. This one I don't have a spoon for, but her name is Heidi. And I am trying to branch out and buy colors that I don't already have because I have like 70 purples. I don't need another purple, but I really don't have corals. And this one to me is like a very true classic orange coral color. And this is Heidi. And then the last one I want to talk about is the very first polish that started this whole insanity. I read about this in a magazine and I thought it was the most beautiful color and I ran out to Ulta and they actually had it and this is the first Zoya purchase I ever made and it's on my fingernails now and it's Gemma. And it's one of their most classic colors and it's hard to see but in this light you can see in the bottle. It is, I don't know if you, I'd say duochrome but there's like a purple lavender shimmer running through it. That isn't readily apparent on my fingernails, but in certain lights you can see it. And um, I just, this will always have a soft spot. I will never get rid of this bottle because this was the first one that started this love affair I have had with this brand. So, if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. Please remember that I do not work for Zoya. So, um, I've had quite a few questions about ordering and customer service that I don't know any more than you would know by just going onto their website. I don't have any inside information. I can't help you if an order didn't go right or you want to know how long it's going to take. That's something that the Zoya customer service people I'm sure will be happy to help you with. I am just an overzealous consumer. But if you have any questions about how it wears or you know anything that a normal person would know, um, I'm happy to answer. If you want to hear more about the colors that I don't own but I'm looking forward to purchasing soon. Um, let me know and I'll and I can do a video on that. I do I have ordered the spoons. I just don't own the colors yet. And um, if you have a favorite Zoya polish that I haven't mentioned, please list it below in the comments. I'm always looking for more colors to add to my collection. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, informative, and not too terribly boring. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.